This is uh, the Q3, Q5, Q8, and Q10. Hi, I'm Brent Siebenauer with Felix. We're at the Cinegear uh, Atlanta 2023 trade show. And um, just a little bit about Felix. We are primarily um, the hard light source in uh, motion picture. We focus our, our lights are on Fresnels and uh, just recently now Lycos, or ellipsoidal lights. Um, primarily, all of our lights are high speed compatible. All of our lights are water resistant. All of our lights are um, extremely durable. Uh, the color consistency across the line is what makes us stand out. Um, you get a consistent color at every dimming level. Um, and then uh, we are flicker free at any frame rate because we use analog dimming instead of PWM dimming. Uh, makes us stand out and uh, makes the product just amazing to use. Felix is a, uh, we're based in California and our factory is uh, wholly owned by us and we manufacture everything down to the LED chip ourselves. Um, and having that total control it makes the color quality and, and uh, output to be very unique. Um, we don't rely on outside LEDs. We uh, manufacture it to the custom uh, needs of this specific industry. Today we're going to talk about a couple of our, our, our newest products, um, which is the G3 and the Q3. The G3, think of, um, is our Leco light. It, uh, it's a 90 watt small ellipsoidal fixture uh, that you can interchange the lenses. So we've got a 19 to 36 and soon a 50 degree lens. The, the uh, product is extremely sharp. It's one of the sharpest uh, Leco's out there where there's no color aberrations or color fringy when you cut it or when you uh, sharpen the outside ring of the light. Um, and then the, the field across the light is extremely even. In fact, you can see in the background some of these, these lights uh, lighting up the back wall. They're, they're extremely sharp. So, so the light, uh, again, you have full color control of this fixture. Um, right now it has a 19 degree lens on it. You can use a 36 degree lens as well. And soon we'll have a 50 degree lens. Um, so the shutters are extremely sharp. And in fact, they're so sharp that I can bring them back to a razor thin wire and uh, without any color fringing. So as I, um, as I scan through the colors, you can see how clean of a fixture that is. Um, the other thing that's great about this is it's been, so it's been 360 degrees infinitely. Um, so I'm aligning, aligning it. Um, yeah, so you can use anywhere from 14 to 30 volts. This is a 26 volt battery. It's 200, 270 watt hours. It'll last about three hours with this light. It's 26 volts and it's uh, 270 watt hours. The, the G3 is uh, starting to ship next month, November of 2023. Um, and will be available all your local retailers. Yeah, so a unit like this will sell for, uh, with a single lens and a light, it'll sell for about $2,000. And if you wanna get it in a full kit, it comes with two lenses, iris, gobo, gobo holders, and, um, and sells for, in the case, for $3,200. The Moto Quad is um, a fairly unique light for us. It's probably the, um, punchiest um, light source, which we consider more of a punch light. Um, it's, not, it's not a soft light. Again, we work on hard light sources, but each one of these uh, on the fixture has a, a, you can pixel map it. So you can handle up to 16 pixels on the Motoquad. The other thing that's unique about it is um, uh, the motorized yoke. So you can pan and tilt it 300 degrees. It's not a, it's not a mover like a concert mover. Um, so it's a slow positional mover. The idea is you can put it up on a condor and not have to have someone up in the condor all night um, moving lights. You can control it via DMX, 16-bit um, to the to the degrees in 16-bit. So in terms of it, it's also um, has encoders in it, so it knows yeah. its location. So when you turn on uh, on and off the light, it always knows where it is. You don't have to um, rehome it every time you uh, lose power. What do people use these for? Um, they are used as a lot of effects lights. So we've been used as firework effects, explosion effects, fire, fire gags, things like that. Um, and because it's so punchy, 
has uh, all these pixels in, in pixel map. You can get some really great looks on that. Um, they're water resistant as well. All of our lights are water resistant, can handle full rain. Um, and so hanging them in a condor works fantastic. So, yeah. Why? Like, yeah, the why. The why? Um, water resistant, pixel mappable, and uh, extremely accurate color. All right, so uh, with Felix, we've got the Q series. We've got the brand new Q3 that's uh, finishing up the smaller end of our, our Fresnel series. So we've got the Q3, Q5, Q8, and Q10, um, basically bringing you from a 350 to a 650 to a 1K to up to a, almost a 5K equivalent, tungsten equivalent Fresnel. But they're all full colored. They're all water resistant. They're all high speed compatible. Um, and the dimming curves are what also makes us stand out. The consistency of color as you dim the lights is extremely accurate, making it um, just a fantastic light for the market. Uh, we uh, also have Lumen Radio in, in uh, the Q10, Q8, and Q3. And so you have access to wireless DMX and control on the lights that way as well. We have battery options for all of our lights, except for the Q10. You can power it with battery, the Q10. You just need a bigger battery. So it's a 900 watt light. Um, and so you need to use one of the larger high capacity um, batteries, but you can power it directly DC on the back of the light. Um, all of them spot and flood using um, uh, these bellows. Many people ask about the bellows, they wonder about it. Uh, it's made out of Gore-Tex material, so it's also water resistant. Um, I have only had to replace one of these in the time, and uh, I mean the last, I think the bellows we've been using for probably about five, six years now. And I've only ever had to replace one of these. So um, it's not a common thing. Everyone gets worried about it, but they don't realize how rugged and durable these are really built. So they last uh, um, and, and they hold up to all the weather conditions possible. They're fantastic. But you get a, a really wide range of um, spot to flood ratio on these lights because of that. And really what it comes out is you, you don't wanna be moving that LED um, array back and forth. And to do that, you need to make the light a lot bigger. So by keeping it compact and using the bellows, you're, you're able to uh, um, get a, a wide range of spot and flood, but then also have the uh, uh, color quality and everything that you want on it. And bellows too? Yes, it does. They all do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big feature. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really does that make the light. It tightens it, so it spots it. So I'm at full spot. Yeah. Well, that's a really hard, very hard, hard source. So this, is, this is a Fresnel. Yeah. Fresnel, yeah. For all three, does it have two? Yep. Oh. Yeah. So oh. You can get some B-roll. You can put it in there. I do, yeah. I do one thing, so. Oh, okay. There you go. And then this guy will spot oh. flood as well. Oh, so. the same family? Yep. This is also a little Fresnel. So that spots and floods that way. This is the Q3. Yeah. Yeah. Has this been up for a while? Uh, the Q3 is brand new. This is just starting to ship. There you go. Uh, but these ones have been out for a long time. Uh, this is Brent from Felix. Uh, we're at Cindy Gear Atlanta 2023. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll see you next year. It's easy, right? All right, cool. Yeah. This is the